In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to bring a freeze effect to a video on the screen. What I'm going to do is first of all put a color board on my screen. So I'll click the media content area uh, with my first uh, option chosen up here and click on color boards. Then we'll just pick one to use as a background. I'll take this brownish one and drag it to track number one and stretch it out for a little bit. And then I'll click down the down arrow, go back to my media content where I have my video. I'll take it and drag that into track number two. So what I want to do now that I have it in track two is I'm, I'm going to play it uh, till I get to a place where I want to freeze it. So there's a guy working on this lawnmower and all of a sudden he looks up and they talk. Okay, I'll freeze it there. The way I do that is what I'm going to do is take a picture of this frame in the video. To do that, I click on the camera icon, the snapshot icon, below the preview screen and click on that. It'll take a, uh, a capture of that. I'm going to call it Freeze 1 and click on OK. So what that does is it actually creates a PNG file that stores on my hard drive and also imports it into my media room. So what I also want to do to make sure I have that same second in time is I want to split uh, my timeline here. I'll click on this and click split. And so now I have frozen that. But now if I play it, it just stops there and then turns dark. It disappears. Uh, how can I kind of keep that on the screen? Well, the, what I do is I take my photograph my static image, I drag it down, oops, wrong one. I drag down my freeze one, put it behind the uh, actual video, and the effect it gives is it makes it look like the video is absolutely frozen. So I'll go back a little ways into it, and we'll play it. And if you look at it, there he is. And it's still, the movie's still playing, but it looks like it's absolutely frozen. Then if I want to resume it, uh, I'm going to take my video and drag it up next to it. And then what I will do in this case is I will let it play for a little bit longer. Uh, we'll just move forward again. We'll repeat the process. Okay. All right, we'll stop it there. And then I will take another picture. And I will call this Freeze 2. Click on OK. And now I have a second freeze. I click down again in my video and I'll split it there. So I make sure I'm at the right, right frame. And then I'll take my freeze number 2 and drag it down. And put it right next to it. And it's moving through all of a sudden we get to this place in time and then it looks like it's frozen so that's a very easy way to uh, stop and I can have it frozen for as many seconds as I want to simply by lengthening the period of the, uh, the static image on the screen and so I could put text on the screen I could do voiceover on the screen and then I could resume it again if I wanted to uh, back over here where it starts all over again. It's done freezing. I've finished my that and all of a sudden it picks up again. So it's a real nice feature. Let me show you another way you can use the same kind of effect if you want. I'm going to take the first clip uh, back here and we're going to take this and make this only a fourth of the screen. And I'll take the the frozen clip the freeze one, make that a fourth of the screen. And then I can have the action resume when I'm in the second clip over here and make this a fourth of the screen. And the clip behind it, make that a fourth of the screen. Uh, the, uh, the static freeze number two. And then I could do the same if I wanted to, but here's an example. I'm going to shorten these so we don't uh, waste a lot of time here in filming. I'll trim it and then move this over. 
So what we have in this case is we start out with our movie running in the lower left quadrant of the screen and we get to a point in the movie when it freezes okay and then um, we can have it pick up in the upper right corner and we could do that all day long another option would be to have one begin have it actually look like the whole movie is moving I'll take these two components drag them to a lower track and uh, okay right like that and we'll, we'll, we'll lengthen this the static part so it's the same length and I'll move this over this will give a slightly different effect now so the first the first movie is running in the lower left it stops and then it continues in the upper right and then uh, I shouldn't have a gap you'll see a short gap here but then the whole thing begins full screen so there are all kinds of effects you can do when you use a combination of your video and a freeze of one of the frames to make it uh, look like you're stopping the action for one purpose or another in CyberLink PowerDirector.